welcome back to what is going to be my last autumn and fall inspired home decor video for the season. I am ready to dive into Christmas DIY tutorials next week and I hope you are looking forward to them as much as I am. So because this is the last fall video, I'm going out with a bang and we are creating these glittered leaf trees today that are perfect for decor again from the time autumn rolls around until you are pulling out your holiday decorations this is probably my favorite project that i've done for the season and i hope you like it too uh, feel free to adapt it by switching up the glitter color the type of tree branches you use or the shape leaves this is a bit of a time-consuming project, but it's still really easy and I think that everybody should feel comfortable completing this. I'll break down the steps really simply and we'll take it one step at a time. So the first thing I want to go over are the supplies you'll need. You will need some sort of tree branch sourced from nature. Um, this one was kind of ideal because there were just the right amount of offshoots. There weren't too many and there weren't too little. It was ideal and it also had a nice straight center stem which made it really easy to prop up and stand. So you will need some sort of stand that holds your tree nice and securely. Maybe you want to fill a mason jar with rocks. Maybe you have some sand, some bird seed around that you can stick your branch into. Um, in my case, I just used an old glass bottle that had a lot of nice weight to support that branch. You are going to need some sort of cardstock paper. You're going to need some sort of glue. I used glue stick, as you'll see. And you're going to need some sort of glitter. The glitter brand I had the most luck with and really fell in love with was the Martha Stewart glitter. It's a really fine grain and it comes in about 20 different color options, so I highly recommend that. I use the color bronze, but again, you can use whatever color suits your decor. And you're also going to need a hole punch. Then you're going to need some sort of string. Hopefully a string that either matches the color of your branch or the color of your glitter. You will need scissors. And finally, the last item is kind of optional, but I think your um, roommate's husband's children will thank you. It's a spray fixative to really lock in the glitter that covers these leaves. So once you've collected all of these supplies, we are ready to dive into the tutorial. To begin, we're going to cut out a leaf shape from a cardstock paper. You can either cut a traditional leaf shape or you can probably find pre-cut leaves at a store like Michael's, AC Moore, or you can find them on my Etsy shop which I'll link below. I'm going to sell packages of 20 leaves that are in this really fancy kind of oak maple leaf shape, really intricate and detailed. Once you have your leaves either sourced or cut out, you will need to cover front and back with glitter. This gets a bit messy so I'll warn you um, and the easiest way I found to get the front and the back covered was to use a glue stick to coat one side, sprinkle it with glitter, let that dry and then flip it and do the reverse to the other side. Again, this is not a complicated project but there's a lot of dry time involved. So once you have your front and your back coated in whatever color glitter you like, you're going to take those leaves outside and you're going to spray them with a fixative spray. I use a clear acrylic spray to coat all of my leaves and that just kind of seals in all the glitter and prevents them from shedding as much, not completely, as much as they would without that fixative spray. I'm sure I'm coated right now and I can guarantee you that our house is coated in glitter. So anyway, take time to do that extra step. You'll be happy you did later. The next step is to punch a hole in your leaf at the base. You'll see that the leaves I'm using and selling have a stem attached that's not necessary, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim those off, and then I'm gonna punch a hole using a smaller size hole punch. And once you have the hole punch, in your leaf, you are ready to start attaching them to your branches. This is the final step. You're just going to cut pieces of thread, maybe about, what is that, three or four inches long, long enough for you to stick through the leaf and tie it to the branch. I just did a quick double knot attaching all of my leaves to what I thought were the appropriate places to hang them from. I didn't tie them too tight so that the leaves could shake and blow in the breeze and have a little bit of a natural look to them natural glittered leaves, you know. 
Um, and then once I had tied all of the leaves to the branches and I thought my tree was full enough, I went back and I trimmed Trim off the excess thread, leaving just a little, just a little stub you'll see in the video. You don't need much, or you could leave the thread there if you wanted to go with that kind of look. Make this your own, make this suited to you. Uh, but that is the final step. Your tree is now ready to go. Find the perfect place in your house, display that bad boy, and enjoy the rest of the autumn season. Uh, the next time I see you, this is going to be all decked out for Christmas, and I can't wait. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoy the rest of your fall, and I'll see you soon. Bye!